You got him in focus there? Here he is. Oh, I'm going to set him down here. Do you reckon he's got a wing? Is that a wing on the back? I think so. So... He's got some fair solid pinches on that. that this is really cool. You know, so much of what I do in my life is about continuing a legacy that my mum and dad set up and really created this path for me to follow mm. and then forge my own path. And my dad was truly a, a force of nature. He was probably the most uh, passionate, enthusiastic and important person of a generation. Mm. Not only, of course, in my life as such an incredible dad, but to millions around the world. He truly changed the world. Mm. And the message that he had, that he was so passionate about, that I get to carry forth is so special to me. And to do that in this new way, in my own individual way, is very, very meaningful. I think he always said, I don't care if people remember me, but I want people to remember my message. And if I get to be the one alongside my family to keep that message going in this new direction yeah. for an audience that might not be interested in it. I mean, the audience that's afraid of snakes and might be a little bit uneasy about sticking their hand in with some wild animal, you know, I get to reach a new audience here and I think he'd be pretty chuffed with that. He definitely would and also he was a very funny man. <laughs> so <laughs> through comedy, uh, yeah. you know, people are all in stand-up clubs and they're learning loads of stuff about all sorts of subjects in life yeah. and there's something that opens your brain in a different way when you're getting ready to laugh is that you can actually learn at the same time and those things stay in because they're associated with a really nice moment as your dopamine pings off. And he was definitely a specialist in that, wasn't he? He's bringing he that was joy, person, bringing yeah. those laughs. <laughs> and of course, you know, and that's, oh, yeah. the, that's the way people listen. Definitely. It's great. And so, uh, you know, as Robert says, a, a completely uh, fabulous message through an entirely, you know, well, not even a new medium, yeah. just a slightly different medium. But th that's what Dad was about. Family, fun, mm. passion, wildlife. And that's what I'm a celebrity's about. I mean, yeah, really, we're so in the true. African wilderness in the bush with yeah. some of the most incredible animals, having fun, building this incredible family environment, both in our you know, celebrities, yep. but also for families around Australia. So, totally. And then oh, every yeah. now and then you get to eat a cow bag. This was such an interesting <laughs> thing because there was that little bit of like rumours going around and this and that. The moment when everything's announced and I can finally say, you know, this is what I'm doing, was the biggest weight off my shoulders, and the biggest yeah. relief. Yeah. Just to be Even able to spread friends. this for the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As friends, yeah. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we speak to close family, but yeah, yeah. it's, it's um, please, please, please don't trip up. I am so bad at keeping things. Like, oh, of it's just, just, it's like, when you're excited about, about it, you're yeah. like, ah. Oh. But yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. Okay, the thing that would instantly make me say, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, mm. is literally anything to do with food. No. Nah. No. No, 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 no. Like, I'll jump off whatever you want. I'll yeah. wrangle whatever you want. I'll jump into... Actually, I probably shouldn't say that because yeah. then they're <laughs> going to start getting nah. me doing trials. Awkward. But uh, <laughs> no, anything eating related, I just, I cannot get around that. Not at all. So, yeah, that's that's a no for me. How about yourself, Jill? What would make me yell, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? Um, mm. If my coffee is not in my van at 7.01. Yes. I don't want to have to say... That's it. Seriously, 702, I would totally be chill. Oh, yeah. But by 703, I'm ready to kill. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> I'm a celebrity, get us in there. We just want to get in there. We will see you for season 10. I see. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. But side by side. Boom. It's really the first time, though, I get to sink my teeth into something that is purely for an Australian audience. And with a comedy edge. I guess that's that been little the, edge um, in there. Yeah. And it's got that live element and everything. So, yeah, as you say, it's what I've always been doing. But at the same time, it's so fresh, it's so new, it's this adrenaline rush and all these elements that are just so much fun. And, and finally, you know, getting to step on set with you, mm. it just clicks. It just feels so right. You do have to turn, turn down your hearing aid. You do. Because uh, a lot of the time I'm... And you see just a very, just Robert's ears gently bleeding, but he's very patient. If I've got a platform where I can spread a bit of positivity, yep. that's all I care about, whatever form that, that comes in is, you know, it's oh, no worries. That's a really good